Welcome back to the Crypto Bar channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and right now, as Bitcoin continues the short-term bullish trend, it is edging closer towards a major breakout on larger timeframes, and the same thing can be said for Ethereum, which is getting extremely close to a major breakout above this significant area of resistance, which could send the price of ETH to much higher prices. So I'll be talking about that later in the video. Definitely watch to the end. First of all, just giving you a quick update here on the weekly Bitcoin charts because right now the price of Bitcoin is trading further into this important area of resistance, which is still sitting in between around 36,000 to 38,000. And as I mentioned in my last video here on the channel, if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 38,000 with weekly candle closes above 38K, then in that case, that would set up the next price target, the next level of resistance on the weekly timeframe, sitting at around 40 $42,000. And so from the point of the breakout from 38K to 42K, we're talking about around a 10 to 11% move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin. But then if we end up seeing a confirmed breakout above 42K, then the next price target, the next resistance level to the upside above 42K is sitting at around 48 to 49,000, which from 42K would be another 14 to 15% move to the upside. And so from a breakout from 38K, all the way to that higher level of resistance. We're talking about around a 27 to 28% move to the upside in the price of Bitcoin. But it is important to understand that this is not talking about the short term. This is obviously on the weekly time frame. Each one of these candles is an entire week. So a move all the way up to these higher levels would not happen extremely quickly. So basically, I would not be expecting these prices tomorrow or even next week, possibly in a few months or next year sometime, we could see these higher prices. But obviously, in the shorter term from time to time, we do see short term cool offs or corrections along the way. So just keep that in mind. But obviously, in terms of the larger trend here on the weekly time frame, as I've been saying since the very beginning of this year, below 20K, I'm still very much bullish on the price of Bitcoin on the larger trend here on the larger time frames. But if you're taking a look at the daily Bitcoin chart, looking at more of these short term bearish and bullish trends, of course, right now we're still forming a larger bearish divergence here on the daily Bitcoin chart. And I talked about this in my last video here on the channel, but at least for now, we have not yet seen this new bearish divergence actually confirm because in order to confirm this bearish divergence, we need to confirm this lower high in place here in the daily Bitcoin RSI, which as of right now has not yet happened. And how we can confirm that lower high in place in the RSI is simply by confirming one to two daily candle closes in the red, which obviously as of right now, once again, has not yet happened. So at least for now, this bearish divergence is forming. It is something to pay attention to which could cause a bit of a correction or consolidation over the next one month or so. But that is if this bearish divergence actually confirms here on the daily time frame with those red daily candle closes confirming over the next few days. So that is something we need to pay attention to. But at least for now, obviously, in terms of the price structure, we are still clearly looking bullish because we're still forming higher loads and higher highs. We have not yet broken this bullish price structure. And of course, if you're zooming into a smaller time frame, looking at the eight hour Bitcoin chart, once again, as I've been saying recently on the channel, we are clearly looking more bullish than bearish here in the short term, because right now we're still forming higher lows and higher highs. And not only were we in an ascending parallel channel, which is already a bullish trend. Of course, over the last couple of days, we saw a major breakout above this ascending parallel channel, above this resistance, which is even more bullish. And so right now, this previous line of resistance should now be acting as new support, which currently is sitting at around 36.1K to 36 2k but if we end up seeing a confirmed break back below around 36.1k then in that case we would likely see a move back down towards around $35,000 as we do have some more support around that level and just zooming further into the short term of course looking at the 6 hour time frame we still have this hidden bullish divergence active and playing out as i've been talking about since back down here and so once again as the name suggests the hidden bullish divergence is bullish for the price of bitcoin so once again in the short term, we are still looking bullish. We have not yet fully confirmed any bearish trend reversal. But even though we have not yet confirmed a bearish trend reversal and we're still looking bullish in the short term, of course, we still need to keep in mind that potential bearish divergence here on the daily time frame forming right now. And we would likely see this bearish divergence confirm if we see a break below around 34.6k here in the short term for the price of Bitcoin. Because basically, if Bitcoin breaks below 34.6k, that would invalidate 
the hidden bullish divergence. And that would also mean a break to the downside here on the eight hour chart below this line of support. And obviously, if we see anything like that play out in the short term, that can help to confirm some red daily candles here on the daily charts, which would ultimately confirm that bearish divergence here on the daily time frame. But once again, as of right now, that has not yet confirmed. We are still currently looking more bullish than bearish. And now just before getting into the Ethereum part of this video, talking about some very important charts that we need to pay attention to. First, quickly letting you know that there is a massive $1 million trading competition happening right now over at Bybit for basically the rest of this month. And this trading competition is split into two parts. First of all, there's the volume section. So essentially, if you're trading with high volume on the derivatives market over at Bybit, you can win this trading competition that way. But if you don't have as much money to trade with, you can still win the competition, win a lot of prize money just by having a good PL. So even if you trade with a small amount of money, you can have a good PL in this competition, a good percentage return, and win this competition, win a lot of prize money. And once again, the total maximum prize pool for this Trade Masters Grand Prix competition happening over at Bybit is a million USDT. So if you're trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out. And for those of you who do not trade on leverage and you prefer to trade on the spot market without any leverage, there is also a spot trading competition happening right now over at Bybit with a 100,000 USDT prize pool. And so simply just by trading on the spot market, buying or selling Bitcoin or Ethereum, also layer one, layer two coins, and also web three coins and meme coins, if you're trading these coins on the spot market over at Bybit, you can potentially win a share in that massive $100,000 prize pool, once again, in the spot trading competition, which I'll also make sure to leave a link to in the description down below and in the pinned comments. In fact, the first link down below this video will take you to the derivatives competition, the $1 million competition, and the second link below this video in the description and in the pinned comment will take you to the spot trading competition. And so if you're trading crypto anyway, you might as well check this out to potentially win a share in these massive prize pools. But anyway, now getting into the Ethereum part of this video, this is on the three day ETH to US dollar chart. And right now, as of recording this video, the price of ETH has successfully hit the exact price targets for this bullish falling wedge pattern. Because here on the three day time frame, as I said a couple of weeks ago now at this initial breakout at around 1.7K, I said right at that breakout, we have a bullish price target at 2.1K, which we should be targeting next. And so obviously, if you took this trade anywhere near this breakout, if you opened a long position, you have done very well with a take profit at around 2.1K. And so now that we've hit this price target, of course, that means the falling wedge pattern is now over. It has completed. And we do also have a bit of resistance around this high sitting at approximately 2.1K. But speaking of resistance, looking at the daily time frame, over the last one day, we have just smashed above this area of resistance, which was sitting in between around $2,000 to 2030 based on these previous highs. And so essentially over the last one month or so, the price of ETH has smashed through all of these areas of resistance, which makes these areas of resistance new support. And so in case we see any pullback here in the short term, of course, we should now find support at around $2,000 to 2030. And in a more bearish scenario, in case we broke back below $2,000, we also have this area of previous resistance now acting as new support sitting in between around 1850 to 18. 90. And if you're taking a look at the daily Ethereum price oscillators right now, as I've been saying recently on the channel as well, these are still looking more bullish than bearish. Because for example, the momentum we're seeing here in the daily Ethereum MACD is obviously bullish. We are seeing bullish momentum. So the trend right now is obviously bullish. And on top of that, this bullish divergence here in the daily Ethereum RSI is still currently active, as I've been talking about almost every day since all the way back down here at around 1550. But now that we've seen a breakout above this final area of resistance on the daily time frame, and now that we've hit that price target here on the three-day chart for the falling wedge pattern, what should we be expecting next? And now, of course, there's always the possibility we could see a bit of a rejection or short-term cool-off from short-term resistance at around 2.1K. But if you're zooming out to the weekly time frame right now, we are forming a giant ascending triangle pattern here on the weekly chart. In fact, the price of ETH has been forming this ascending triangle pattern since around the middle of 2022, so well over one year ago. And right now, this ascending line of support is sitting at approximately 1.6K. So even if the price of ETH dumped all the way back to 1.6K, we could still be looking bullish here on the weekly timeframe, forming higher lows. And this area of resistance based on these previous 
highs is sitting in between around $2,000 going up towards around $2,150. So basically, we need to see a confirmed breakout above $2,150 with a weekly candle close at least above that level in order to confirm the breakout for this triangle pattern. But what is very interesting about this weekly time frame is right now, we are already seeing a breakout here in the weekly Ethereum RSI above this massive descending line of resistance. And this line of resistance has been forming ever since around the beginning of 2021. So this is a multi-year line of resistance where we've seen multiple rejections from over the last few years. And right now, we are finally seeing the signal that we've been waiting for for many years, a breakout in the weekly RSI above this significant line of resistance. And these breakouts in the RSI are often leading indicators. They are signs of strength for the price, as I also talked about on the daily time frame, all the way back down here with this bullish divergence. Obviously, that was a leading indicator for more bullish price action. And so if this is a leading indicator again here on the weekly time frame for the price on the weekly time frame, this is pointing towards a potential breakout sometime in the coming weeks or months here in the price of ETH. But remember, this is on the weekly chart, not in the short term. So we could, for example, see a bit of a cool off or correction or anything like that over the next few days or even over the next few weeks. And we could still end up seeing, for example, a breakout in about a month from now that is still a possibility here on the weekly time frame because between now and the end of this triangle pattern we're talking about another one year approximately where the price could possibly remain within this triangle but if we do end up ultimately confirming a breakout above this resistance above 2150 with confirmation then looking at the technical price targets for this pattern that would set up a technical price target at approximately four thousand two hundred dollars so above four thousand dollars and so if we're measuring out that move from the point of the breakout from around 2150 to that price target, that is almost exactly a 100% gain in the price of ETH, basically doubling your money without any leverage. But it is important to understand that as of right now, this bullish price target is not yet active because we have not yet confirmed a breakout above this resistance. And so in the meantime, in the short term, once again, it's still technically possible. We could see any sort of rejection, for example, in the short term before breaking out. And on top of that, even if we do ultimately break out above this resistance, confirming the price target in play. Obviously, with a move that large, there's going to be some levels of resistance along the way, which I'll talk about once we eventually break out above this resistance. So in other words, we're not going to see a straight line up towards $4,200 without any pullbacks or corrections along the way. And now just staying on the weekly time frame, looking at the ETH to BTC charts, this is Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And obviously, just recently, we have seen a perfect bounce from this important area of support. And not only was the price of ETH versus Bitcoin running into this important area of support where we saw a bounce last time, we also saw the weekly RSI enter into oversold territories, meaning we have limited room to the downside. And the last time we saw this massive bounce to the upside, obviously the weekly RSI was also very close to oversold territories. And so essentially, if history repeats, if we see the same sort of bounce or even anything similar to what we saw last time with a bounce to the upside in the price of ETH versus Bitcoin, then basically it makes sense holding a little bit more Ethereum rather than Bitcoin, because if Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin, obviously you're doing better if you're holding Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Because in case you're new to this, when this chart is going to the upside, once again, Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin and vice versa. When this chart is going to the downside, Bitcoin is outperforming Ethereum. So right now we are at a potential reversal point, seeing a bounce from important support and also from oversold territories on the weekly timeframe, which are two fairly strong signals. And now personally with my strategy, I have moved a little bit of my Bitcoin into Ethereum due to these bullish signals. And if we continue to see more bullish signals form on this chart over the coming weeks, like for example, a higher low confirming in the price or a potential bullish divergence, anything like that, if that forms over the coming weeks, then personally, I would simply add more to my Ethereum position out of my Bitcoin. But it is important to understand that that is not personal financial advice. That's just being transparent about my trading strategy, what I'm doing with this chart right here. And if you want to know how to make a lot of profit in crypto, no matter if the price is going to the upside, to the downside, or simply chopping around sideways, you can make a lot of profit in crypto by watching these videos popping up right here on your screen. The video in the top left shows you how to make money if the price is bullish or bearish using AI, and the video in the bottom left shows you how you can easily profit from choppy sideways price action. But anyway, that's everything that I have to say for today. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.